Improvethenews.org is a free news aggregator that lets you make up your own mind by reading a range of perspectives. I'm Max Tegmark, an MIT professor working on machine learning and physics. I had the idea for Improvethenews.org because I agree with Einstein's quote that everything should be made as simple as possible, but no simpler. And I feel that we should apply this to our news. Instead, media sometimes oversimplify and report things like a fairy tale, where one side is 100% good and the other side is 100% bad. Then machine learning comes along and gets us impulse clicking on these oversimplified stories, trapping us in hyper-partisan and hyper-nationalistic filter bubbles, creating an increasingly polarized world at a time when we instead need nuanced understanding that enables working together on great challenges. And we can see this polarization for many of the hundreds of topics tracked by ImprovedNews.org. For example, let's scroll down to social issues, click on its header to see its subtopics, and scroll to immigration. Although there is much talk about fake news, an even bigger problem is oversimplifying by omitting key facts. And the best way to catch those omissions is to read both sides, which Improved News makes very easy by simply sliding a slider. Let's take a shortcut back to politics to see what the political left has to say. And let's check out the view from the right. You'll see that there isn't just a left-right slider, but also a slider for comparing articles that support and criticize the establishment. The establishment view is what all big parties and powers agree on. For example, the old establishment view that women should not be allowed to vote got successfully challenged. Why is this important? Well, we all know we can't always trust politicians. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. There is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapons of mass destruction. And we can't always trust government officials. Does the NSA collect any type of data at all on millions or hundreds of millions of Americans? No, sir. And we can't always trust companies. That's why I agree with Einstein's quote, blind belief in authority is the greatest enemy of truth. That's why democracy needs free press that challenges authority and lets voters know the truth. Establishment bias is easier to miss than left-right bias because almost all mainstream media have it. Media on the left are great at challenging authorities on the right, and media on the right are great at challenging authorities on the left. But almost no mainstream media are great at challenging things that all big parties agree with. That's why we need the establishment slider. By moving it to the pro-establishment side, you can find mainstream media that only rarely accuse the government or powerful companies of lying, even if they're happy to criticize individual politicians or parties. By moving this slider, you can find articles that challenge the establishment, often by covering topics that don't get much attention in mainstream media. For example, how many articles have you seen about the Yemen tragedy recently? This kind of topic bias is important because even if media don't affect what you think, they affect what you think about. Both sliders help us follow Einstein's advice to not oversimplify. Just as the left-right slider helps you debunk media fairy tales about all Democrat arguments being 100% pointless or all Republican arguments being 100% pointless, the establishment slider helps you debunk media fairy tales about all countries our government criticizes being 100% bad, or about all powerful corporations being 100% benevolent. So why is this useful for you? Improvethenews.org lets you choose your news diet the way you aim to choose your food, deliberately, not impulsively. This way, you'll read the news that are most important to you. Most other news sites instead focus on showing you whatever their algorithm thinks you'll impulse click on to maximize your ad revenue. That's because they view your attention as their product to sell to their customers, their advertisers. Improvethenews.org is free with no ads, 
because it's developed by academic researchers and powered by machine learning that draws no salary. So this artificial intelligence works for you, not against you. The AI auto-classifies the articles to help you find what you're interested in instead of auto-classifying you for advertisers. I developed these AI tools with an awesome team of MIT students for a summer research project and we've published them as open source. Improvethenews.org is work in progress, so if you like it, please help us improve it by using its feedback form to send us bug reports, feature requests and ideas for making it even better. Thanks in advance.